Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Maria Galema is Ford. I am married and I have four kids, two boys and two girls and I have a uh, experience in working in Kuwait and I, I not to handle the kids and the work in house. I know everything in the house and I know how to cook. And my educational background is I am graduated in high school only. Okay, so why you want to work in Hong Kong? Yeah, I want to work in Hong Kong to, to earn more money to give my children a good education because I'm their mother. It's my obligation to do that. Okay, you have four children. So if you go to work in Hong Kong, who will take care of your four children? My husband and my mother-in-law and my own mother. Okay, so how long do you have to work in Kuwait? It's only nine months, sir. Why you just work there only for nine months? Because my employees lack of money, they return me in Philippines. Okay, so and how many members in the family? In Kuwait, how many members there? There are three kids, one, uh, two boys and one girl. Yeah. Their ages is 13 and 5 and the, the girl is 7. Uh, okay, so can you tell me what were your daily work in the house? Uh, I'm working cleaning the house all around and wash the clothes. I cook there and I will make it sure the kitchen is clean and the garden. That's all. Okay, what time you woke up in the morning? I wake up in the morning at 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? Yeah. Why you needed to wake up so early? Because there's a student, the kids, wants to wake up early to mm -hmm. go to school. Okay. So normally what time you go to sleep? Uh, sometimes I sleep 12 and midnight and maybe sometimes 1 a.m. Oh, that means you only have three or four hours for the rest? Yeah. Okay, so do you know how to cook? Yeah, I know how to cook the Arabian food and Philippine food, but Chinese, I'm willing to learn how to cook the Chinese food. Are you a good cook? Yeah. Who say that? My madam. Oh, your yeah. madam say that, you're, yeah. you're a good cook, okay. Do you know how to do the marketing? Yeah. So if the employer gives you the money for marketing, so how you would handle the money? I make a list and uh, make budget the money to buy everything that she needs. Okay. So if you go out or maybe send a child to school or go to the market, so what you need to check before you leave your employer house? I will check first the baby before I go to market. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are the most important things to take care of the children? The most important thing that I take care of the baby is her how to feed, how to take a bath, and check her body if hot. Okay, so um, if your employer they are not at home and the child gets sick, has a fever, so what will you do? I will inform my employee that the baby is not feeling well and I'm not give her medicine after the doctor is not sick, the baby. Alright, so how can you keep a good relationship with your employer? Be, I'm be myself and I'm be honest to them and I'm work what they want and I will I will follow them and I will give them respect. 
Okay. If the mother of your employer cannot speak English, how can you communicate with her? By the sign language or maybe the body language, I will do. Okay. If you are cooking in the kitchen and your employer call you and ask you to go out to buy something, so what will you do? I will turn the fire before I go to my madam. Are you afraid of the dog and cats? Only dog. You are afraid of the dog? Yeah. Okay. If your day if your day off is not on Sunday, is it okay for you? Yeah, it's okay for me. It's okay, right? Yeah. Okay, good, thank you.